Oh, this is a question on finding the coefficient of xr in this expansion. So this is a question on binomial expansion. So for binomial expansion, we want to make use of uh, this formula. When you have the one, uh, uh, one minus um, x to the power of n, the expansion is follows this formula. N, all right, n over or uh, n times uh, x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial x square plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 3 over 3 factorial x cubed so on and so forth and this expansion is valid for x smaller than 1 now how do we do the expansion here this first thing we the first step we do is to bring this up so that there's a minus cube and then followed by factorizing out the two so when the two is factorized out it follows the x power here and we will have one minus x over two and here this is just one over eight so one of four over eight becomes half and we have this expansion so this expansion will look like this minus 3 will bring in front minus 3 bring in front and then I will have minus x over 2 to the power of 1 plus minus 3 times minus 2 over 2 factorial and minus x over 2 to the power of 2 plus so on and so forth following this formula this would be no sorry I made a mistake here so minus 3 when minus 1 will becomes minus 4 and here we will have minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5 over 3 factorial over minus x over 2 cube and we add on so let's say we want the expansion of xr you know that for this expansion the first this term will have x to the power one x to the power of this term will have x to the power of two and when x to the power of two there's two numbers here when x to the power of one there's only one number here and there's two factorial here right so from this i will know that what are the number of terms here if I want this to be xr so I know that this would be if the term in xr would look like this this would be the term in xr correct yes so and this part how do I get this part I know that there are how number of terms here must follow the number here since this is 2 then there are two terms this is r there must be two terms over here this is 2 there are two terms this is 3 there are three terms so this r there must be r terms over here if there are r terms over here then what is the last term here now you see that when this is 3 this is minus 5 when this is 2, this is minus 4. Does it tell you anything at all? So, when when this is 2, this is minus 4. Can we guess that uh, perhaps um, this number is... Because this is the number... Okay minus 3 times what's this this is minus 3 actually this is minus 3 minus what minus the time 2 minus 1 times 1 can we say that because this actually determine the number of terms here and if there are two terms the second term is minus 3 minus 1 
and if there are three terms then this will be minus 3 times minus 3 so I'm talking about this entire term here will look like this so this term will have minus 3 times minus 3 minus 1 times minus 3 times minus 2 oh no sorry it's like it's not times I'm I'm saying it wrong it's not times it's rather okay correct myself sorry a begin from this step a begin again so this is actually this number okay we have minus 3 then minus 3 minus 1 here right just for this part and this part we have minus 3 times minus 3 minus 1 times minus 3 minus 2 correct so the number with minus is actually two min this number minus 1 3 minus 1 will give me 2 2 minus 1 will give me 1 so the last number here must be minus 3 minus minus 3 minus r minus 1 isn't it because three, if this is 3 the number here is 2 if this is 2 the number here is 1 and there's always a minus in front so if this is r then this term must be r minus 1 correct so if the next term is 4 this one will be minus 6 let's say the next term will be 4 uh, the last number will be minus 6 the last number here will be minus 6 for the next term and this power will be 4 so is it minus 3 minus 4 minus 1 is this 6 minus 6 yes this is indeed minus 6 so we know correct therefore we get this therefore we get this part and what is at the bottom the bottom follows the number here so we must be able to catch this kind of pattern in the series therefore the coefficient of the xr term must be half times this term minus 3 times minus 4 all the way to minus 3 minus r plus 1 minus 3 minus r plus 1 which is just minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 okay so do we get this let's say for example 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 we get minus 5 2 minus 2 minus 2 will give my minus 4 so I confirm this is correct and then we have R factorial and then we want to bring this term up so this becomes this is my XR over 2R over 2R correct this part right the negative I haven't take care of the negative yet so that means what if I want to rewrite this it could look like minus 1 times x over 2 and whole thing r isn't it so if I change it it could be minus 1 to the power of r x r over 2 r isn't it so therefore what I get here I don't I will leave the x r out and this one would be minus 1 r 1 over 2 r xr so this part is the coefficient of xr can I simplify this certainly okay so because 
this part is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 r I could simplify it to 1 over 2 r plus 1 isn't it this part this and this and because there is a minus 1 r times 1 so why not I just let it be this correct and now that we have minus 3 times minus 4 all the way to times minus 4 times all the way to minus 2 minus r over r factorial this should be the coefficient but we want to simply simplify it further since r factorial is equals to 1 times 2 times 3 all the way to r correct and this is minus 3 minus 4 all the way to minus 2 minus r so let's see what to do with this okay so maybe we should see what if r is a even number if r is a even number even number then this would be a positive number and this would be a positive number as well because if this is a even number you see this would be a positive number and the number of terms here will also be even and that will mean that we also get positive number because even number negative times negative is positive so even number of power is positive so that means if this is even number then I can just remove all the negative sign then the my my term is minus that means this minus one does not matter anymore because all of this is even so my term would be one over two r plus one three times four times all the way to two plus r so all the negative would be removed if r is a odd number what happens if r is a odd number then there will be odd number of terms here and there are odd power here if this is an odd power if this is an odd power then this would be if this is an odd power then this would be a negative number and if there are odd number of terms here this will also be a negative number and negative times negative again will give me positive so I could ignore the negative here and the result is the same I will have positive numbers here so regardless of whether it is a even r is a even or r is odd we'll have positive here all right so we'll go forward we'll proceed to simplify this term further okay you know that where is r factor this is 2 plus r 2 plus r that means before that must be r times r plus 1 times 2 plus r or r plus 2 it's the same so where is r, r factorial if we divide away r factorial what is r factorial r factorial is just 1 times 2 times 3 all the way to r and if we do a cancellation the r will cancel with r and every term in the middle will cancel with the term in the middle and we will have 4 cancelled away as well because 4 is here and 3 will cancel away so what we are left with is just 1 over 2 r plus 1 okay come from here then the bottom would be 2 bottom would have a 2 correct multiply by 2 times r plus 1 times 2 plus r 
correct? And these two actually multiplied by 2 to the power of r plus 1 would make it r plus 2. And 1 times anything is just 1. Therefore, it is simplified to this. But we can simplify it even further to make it look like this. Okay, it's the same thing as having the power here because 1 to the power anything is still 1. And then we will have r plus 1 times r plus 2. Okay, that's all uh, for today. I have I found the coefficient of x to the power of r here. If there's any questions, uh, feel free to drop me an email.